Welcome to a world of high stakes, high stress, and high flying adventure. Join us as we take you behind the scenes of one of the most powerful weapons in the United States Navy, the aircraft carrier. These floating cities are home to thousands of sailors, including a growing number of women who are breaking barriers and proving that they can handle any challenges thrown their way. From pilots to air traffic controllers, from maintainers to weapons specialists, these women are making their mark on the Navy and on the world. And what about when sailors on board fall in love? Sex is not allowed in the US Navy. So buckle up, because we're about to take off on an exciting journey that will show you the incredible role that women play on aircraft carriers. Are you ready to embark on this adventure with us? The role of women in the US Navy has come a long way since the first female recruits were accepted in 1942. Today, women make up nearly 20% of the Navy's active duty force and are found in a wide variety of roles and positions, including serving on aircraft carriers. An aircraft carrier is a formidable weapon of war, measuring over 1,000 feet in length and carrying a crew of thousands. It's a floating city, complete with living quarters, medical facilities, and even a mini mall. It's also a highly specialized, high stress environment that requires the best from everyone who serves on it. This includes women. Women have been serving on aircraft carriers for decades, although their roles have evolved over time. In the past, women were mostly limited to support roles, such as working in a galley or as clerks. However, today, women can be found in virtually every role on an aircraft carrier. One of the most visible roles for women on an aircraft carrier is that of the pilot. Women have been flying aircraft in the Navy since 1973, and today they make up around 8% of the Navy's pilot community. Women pilots have the same qualifications and training as their male counterparts, and they fly the same aircraft. They also face the same dangers and challenges including flying in combat zones. Another important role for women on aircraft carriers is that of air traffic controller. Air traffic controllers are responsible for ensuring the safe and efficient movement of aircraft on the flight deck and in the airspace around the carrier. This is a high stress, high responsibility job that requires quick thinking and attention to detail. Women have been serving as air traffic controllers in the Navy for over 30 years and they are an integral part of the carrier's air operations team. Women also serve in various maintenance roles on aircraft carriers. They work as aviation ordnance people, responsible for loading and handling weapons on aircraft. They also served as aircraft mechanics and electricians, maintaining and repairing the carrier's aircraft. These are physically demanding jobs that require strength and stamina, but women have proven that they are more than capable of handling them. They also play a key role in the carrier's air defense operations, helping to protect the carrier from incoming aircraft and missiles. But what if sailors fall in love with each other? Is sex allowed on the aircraft carrier? Sex is not allowed on an aircraft carrier. The United States Navy has strict regulations and policies in place to maintain good order and discipline aboard its ships, including aircraft carriers. These regulations prohibit any sexual activity aboard the ship, regardless of whether the sailors involved are married or single. If male sailors fall in love with a woman on board a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier, it's not uncommon for them to pursue a romantic relationship. However, the Navy has regulations and policies in place to ensure that such relationships do not interfere with the mission or create any conflicts of interest. The Navy has a fraternization policy that prohibits certain types of personal relationships between sailors or different ranks or positions. This includes relationships between officers and enlisted personnel, as well as relationships between supervisors and their subordinates. These policies are in place to ensure that the sailors are able to maintain professional relationships and to prevent any conflicts of interest or favoritism. It's also important to note that fraternization between sailors can create a difficult work environment and can cause tension among the crew. It's important that those involved exercise discretion and professionalism in their behavior and interactions with one another. Commanding officers also have the authority to separate sailors involved in relationships that are deemed harmful to the good order and the discipline of the unit. 
If two sailors do decide to pursue a relationship while on a carrier, they must ensure that they're not violating any Navy regulations and that they're not causing any disruption to the crew or the mission. If they're able to maintain a professional demeanor and conduct themselves appropriately, their relationship should not be an issue. While women have come a long way in the Navy, they still face challenges and discrimination. Despite the progress that has been made, women continue to be underrepresented in many of the Navy's most technical and operational roles. Additionally, women on aircraft carriers often have to deal with the same issues that women in any other high-stress, high-stake environment face, such as balancing work and family life and dealing with sexism and discrimination. Despite these challenges, women continue to serve on aircraft carriers with distinction. They have proven that they can handle the same duties and responsibilities as men, and they have made valuable contributions to the Navy's mission. As mentioned, despite the progress that has been made, women still face challenges and discrimination. However, their dedication and hard work have led to greater acceptance and recognition of their abilities. Women in the Navy, including those on aircraft carriers, continue to break barriers and pave the way for future generations of female sailors. One example of a trailblazer in this field is Captain Rosemary Mariner, who in 1979 became the first female Navy pilot to fly a tactical jet. She also served as the first female commander of an operational flying squadron and the first female executive officer of an aircraft carrier. Her pioneering efforts and dedication to her career opened doors for many other women in the Navy to pursue their dreams and reach new heights. The Navy has also made efforts to improve the quality of life for women on aircraft carriers by providing resources and support to help them balance the demands of their job with their family life. The Navy also provides training and education opportunities to help women advance in their careers and reach higher ranks. It's important to note that women's contributions are not limited to their gender-specific roles, but in all aspects of the Navy. Their participation and leadership is vital. Women bring a unique perspective and sets of skills that are essential to the Navy's mission. Their presence on aircraft carriers helps to create a more diverse and inclusive environment that ultimately benefits everyone. Overall, the role of women in the U.S. Navy and on aircraft carriers has come a long way since their first recruitment. They are an integral part of the crew, capable of handling the demanding and high-stress environment of an aircraft carrier. Their dedication, hard work, and contributions have led to greater acceptance and recognition of their abilities. And as the Navy continues to evolve and adapt, women will continue to play an essential role in ensuring the readiness and effectiveness of our nation's armed forces. Do you also have a lot of respect for the women in the U.S. Navy? Then like this video to express your respect. And that concludes our journey into the world of women on aircraft carriers. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the incredible roles and contributions that women make on these powerful warships. From flying jets to maintaining weapon systems, these women are proving that they are more than capable of handling the demands and challenges of this high stakes environment. They are not just breaking barriers, but also making valuable contributions to the Navy's mission. What are your experiences working with women on aircraft carriers? What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.